Along Golf Road in Arlington Heights sits an abandoned mall. This mall housed many immigrant small business owners, with the majority being Korean owned. I'm currently sitting in one of the last restaurants open in this entire mall. Within the next year, this place too will relocate. With many small business owners already struggling with the high taxes of Illinois, they still pushed on. But in the end, COVID was the final blow to this mall. So how long has this been open? We've been open here 13 years. 13 years here. You said 42 years just in general, right? 42 years in the city. Mm -hmm. So what do you what do you think about like the mall and you know how how does it affect your business? Very much because it's so seedy. Um, you know, restaurants are abandoned in there. There's nothing else open besides us. We don't know where else left, and everything is just shut down here. So what's your name? Alex. And uh, how long have you guys been open? 20 years. 20 years? In this spot or? This spot, yeah. How's business been? Well, uh, we started in 203, end of 203. The plaza was kind of closing up already, kind of, you know, it was a, a lot of business were going out of business. Now we're closing end of the month uh, completely here. But right now we're going online, business strictly. Oh. You know, so we're going to be online. Um, it's only two minutes away here, 549 uh, East Gulf, uh, I mean West Gulf Road. So we carry all uh, merchandise, like uh, all official NFL, um, MLB, you know, NHL. And, nice. Uh, we carry a lot of Polish items since I'm from Poland, so huh. we create a lot of Polish merchandise. Join me as we explore what's left. This is just wild. This pretty much this entire mall is abandoned. Just a few stores left, which will be gone soon. It's crazy how this is just so open. I know this area well, and it's just surprising to see how everything's like this. What do you think, kinda empty? Statues on it, or dragons, maybe. You can just get a look of how large this mall is. Welcome, walk in. Okay, I'm going to find you. Hey! I'm going to find So, this actually looks empty. So, yeah, this place is uh, pretty empty. We got. Uh, and a few pieces of furniture. Dang, I don't have a light. So this was some cosmetics place, I guess. Pretty empty. Oh, wow. What is all this stuff? Spices? Something. <laughs> I don't know. Can't read. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one active store over here, and it's really sad. I mean, honestly, to see that uh, these are the only people pretty much here. Looks like maybe they're even moving out. We'll have to talk to them later.
lot of stuff in there, but as you can see, it's boarded. Is there really? Oh, yeah. wow. It's an appliance repair store. There's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, that's cool. Appliances. Interesting. Honestly, this is a nice day to go out. Film. There's an old bike lock right there. Bike rack. Dude, this looks crazy. Open 24 hours. This is the gym. You got a boarded up window there, boarded up window there, boarded up window there, and a smashed window right there. With $9.95 per month. Fire alarm is out of service right there. That's what it says. This looks really cool. This was the old uh, export, I guess. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. There's a bunch of mirrors, though. Caution, slippery when wet. Let's check it out. Look at that. Shower rooms are kind of cool. Table tennis? That's kind of cool. Oh, they have it all blocked off so you can't see in there. There's a little part open here. Can you see anything to it? There's a... Uh, tennis tables or anything? Couch, lights, kind of empty. That's where the homeless guys live. We got some mail in here. Somebody broke in, but they boarded it. Computer supplies. That's locked. I this one. I wonder what it was. This one? Yeah. I don't know, but it doesn't look... They broke five windows there and three windows there. No. Just a little room. Dang, somebody smashed that? Yeah. Oh, this is, uh, this is cool. What is this one? This is the one with the fridges. Oh, there's fridges over there. Is there a better window we can look at it? Oh, yeah. This one's so cool, the supermarket. Yeah. Wow. 
Looks like this was a uh, hair salon. You need hair? Oh, look at that. Anything in there? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. The chairs are still in there, the little hair thing. Looks kind of small though, it doesn't look like a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look cool? That's crazy. Another shopping? Yeah, I know that's all home shopping. Have you looked in here? Little shopping center. No, I haven't looked. Tell me if you see anything. Let's see. Empty. What do you think's going on? I think they're owners. I think they're getting ready to board it up. <laughs> Probably not very happy. Yeah, they don't, they're not explorers, bro. One of them looks like a kid. It's like a kid and his dad. You wanna go talk to him? Those people back there though, they were uh, they were just checking it out like us. My dad and his kid, pretty cool. Dude, that's... We got three people that just pulled in. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. So here's this supermarket looking building. Wow. Check that out. A whole bunch of stuff. Oh wow. <laughs> Just let, oh I said it again, didn't I? Oh wow. You gotta do it in every video. Every video. <laughs> Somebody drew on here, as you can see. <laughs> That's all empty. Looks like there's stuff in there. <laughs> Look at the, the Miller's there's on. A bike in there. There's a bike? Yeah, like a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Wait, yeah. What? Dude, a motorcycle? Where? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the active place though. Wow. I'm thinking, man, what do you think happens to like this place is actually on the right? Don't go in here if you uh, if you know where this is. Best to leave people's stuff alone. Someone tried to break in where that motorcycle is. How did you try to get in right there? How did you no one could fit through that? I don't know. People are dumb and they just break stuff. Yeah. This one right here is a piano place. They moved to a new store. Check this out, so all these stores here are open. This one side by the road. <laughs> Look over there, it's collapsing right there and then the stores are open. That's crazy. Yeah, it's sad. Well that one's wide open. They're uh, getting the heat from the summer. <laughs> Look at that tech repair store. Most of their stuff is still in there. Electric termination. Wow. Do you have any problems with like, uh, have you guys complained at all to the owner, the property owner or anything? Not really, whatever we have to do, we fix ourselves. 
Gotcha. Yeah, this restaurant looks looks really clean compared to all the other stores around here. You keep it up, Brian. You keep it up. Yeah. All right, well, well, best of luck in the, in the future, for sure. Thank you so much. Hey, Matthew. Dude, we never got in here. Whoa. Dude, there's all kinds of files. Yo! <laughs> This is crazy. It's probably one of the more untouched. Look, we got some uh, some weapons back here. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> A couple golf clubs. Holy man, this is cool. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Tuesday morning used to be here Man this these pictures look so old. That's really cool. It's, Holy crap. That's gotta be Looks like to 2010 or something these photos were taken Those are old cars So that was some kind of office over there Home health life bank insurance there's a bunch of doors in there. It's kind of strange. Let's see through there. Shopping carts, office stuff. Yeah, I mean it was just a giant office. Yeah. So this right here is an abandoned pancake house. Lighting in here is pretty good. So this specific place uh, closed down during COVID. A lot of stores were wiped out here because of it. Um, there's, uh, there's signs here that say social distancing, so that's how we can kind of tell. There's a lot of stuff here. Pretty cool. A lot of stores here. I've never, I haven't seen a mall this big since I went to Arizona, so it's pretty exciting to see one of these uh, right in my neighborhood. Right there is an active store. Like a little candle base, some really nice tables. The fall of eagles. Here's some photos. Oh, that's cool. Um, they're kind of stuck together. Uh, it's just pictures of flowers. Dude, this is sad. Kids destroyed this one. Look at how everything smashed. That yeah, that's a real full. shame. I don't know how you could destroy something like this. Yeah. 
Looks like they just like threw something heavy right at the top and it shattered all the way down. Yeah. yeah. Somebody spray painted too, of course. It's like when you get into a place that has no spray paint, it's always untouched and not destroyed, but the moment that there's tags, this happens. Sure. And then they, they wonder why we don't really like your feet. Nope. They're like, it's just paint, but every time we see paint, we also see everything destroyed. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't care as much if it was just paint, because you can easily paint over it, but like I said, it usually goes hand in hand with the vandalism. That's a really pretty like carousel type thing. I don't even know what you call that. It's like a display case. But yeah, this store is really one of the most sad stores here because there's so much left behind. I, yeah, it's um, like the computer. Something must have happened to the owner. All these beautiful. Look at that. Paintings on the wall and everything. China. 19 this this plate is from 1918 1918 dude look at this iMac though this is like an original iMac it's got the keyboard and everything dude this don't tag wow that's insane i've never seen an iMac that old someone must have broken hey, that should, did they break it i think so that display case is still intact they didn't break that one yet yeah some old records. Look at this shop. That is so sad. There's just so much here. Oh, it's plastic though. <laughs> they look really cool. They're made to look like they're metal, but they're not. Yeah. My grandma would have these old things on her Trip in her house. Paintings. They smashed that one too. This this one held wine glasses. This was like a fancy nightstand. It's kind of crazy. We keep hearing cop sirens outside, but nobody is coming to this plaza. It's like they don't care about it. Not that we're doing anything really wrong. We're just kind of like videoing it, but it's just not what I would expect for a place that's like loaded with everything. They really did leave just everything kind of just how it was. That's the coolest part. Mm-hmm. Man, this is just crazy. Wait, this is new. Here's another one of the stores. Just got a bunch of random items. Could have been some food place. Here's an, uh, another kind of knick-knack shop here. Here's something you'd put on a bicycle, I think. Damn, this one has been more liquidated, as you can see. We're currently inside of the abandoned clothing store. It looks like they got a bunch of kids' toys. And some high chairs and other stuff stored back here. Some clothing put in that thing. This is so cool in the day with the skylight.
So I think this was the place the uh, the burger uh, owners were talking about how it's been like five years and the owner just never came back for their stuff. No, no, they were here like a year ago. They said that the owner like for five years has been saying, oh, we're going out of business, huge sale. Oh. Yeah. They finally did go out of business. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, this is crazy. This was a children's store, kind of like a Goodwill. That's nice. In the children's store, look at that. What does it say? Do you know what that that I is? I feel like somebody's watching me. Do you know what that bear is? What is that bear? It's a pedo pedo bear. No, it's not. Yeah, no it is. Way. Yeah. That's just for cameras, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but that's like a meme associated with pedophiles. That's weird. Maybe they didn't know. Yeah, I, I don't think they knew. What a waste, huh? All this children's stuff that could be going to somebody. They didn't donate this stuff or anything. There were signs saying donate, but nothing was donated. Looks like they cleared a lot of stuff out. We looked at the old website and there's photos inside the store and there's quite a bit more things here. So they either sold a lot or donated a lot, but there's still so much behind, left behind. Look at all this. Hot wheel set. I would have loved this as a kid. Somebody just drove by the front here really close. No way. Brand new. There's a Monopoly uh, Frozen. Guys, Yo. Look at this. Brand oh, yeah. Monopoly Frozen. There's a ton of brand new stuff here. So eerie walking here. That old children's hats. Must have supposed to be cards here. Don't see anything. I was told to remove this video last summer as one of the tenants still was coming back for their items. I respectfully obliged as some people tend to destroy the places I film, unfortunately. But as of seeing the recent news today, the building is now being demolished and won't be here much longer. I'm sure all their items have been removed by now, and I'm happy I got to preserve this place before it's gone forever.